And we are live. Hey, everybody. What's up, Sailor? What's up, Chef Janar? What's good? What's good, man? We out here enjoying the getting ready to whip up a little something on the grill. Yay! I'm <laughs> so excited. I'm I know, scared. right? <laughs> it looks like it looks like it might rain. Hey, well, man! Hoping. Look, don't play because I've been look. I've been <laughs> counting the strikes of the thunder because you know they say you count the strikes of the thunder to tell you how far <laughs> away the th the storm oh, is how many miles. Please don't rain. Please don't. I just I can't look, just at, look, just at least give us thirty to forty-five minutes. Right? Seriously, That's come it. on now. Come That's on. all we need. Okay. We don't need no rain. We're so good. before it rains, um, everybody, we are here tonight with uh, Chef Bernard Wells, of course, and my whiskey brother Jay Madison, and I am White Chocolate Sailor, <laughs> and. <laughs> No doubt. Best compliment Best I've ever received. Chocolate everywhere. <laughs> That'll be our, our lifetime joke forever. Um, so, Chef, tonight, um, I'm going to go ahead and highlight your screen, uh, the screen first, so you can tell us what you are going to be preparing tonight. I am so excited. Okay. All right. Cool, Bean. So, as you see, guys, I got the grill going right here. We smoke it. We got it set at a good 350 temp. We work with the big green egg tonight. Sometimes I work with the Weber. But for what we're doing, we got a flank steak. You can use flank steak. You can use tri-tip. Um, or you can use skirt steak. What I have right here is a nice, good tri-tip, which I think is very good and flavorful as well. But the three of those come from the same area of the calf. So we're going to get that same good experience. So what we're going to do is we're going to put, put a nice, cool rub on that smoke it off on the grill then we got some corn we got some shrimp here and then we got us some potatoes here and mm -hmm. what, what we're going to do is we're going to create a steam bag and we're going to smoke that together to make somewhat of a smoked low country boil except it's not a Ooh. low country boil just a nice good spicy seasons with some fresh garlic bring it in some cool we know we you got juneteenth coming up you got the fourth of july coming up and we got father's day coming up jay so this is something cool, but first look, <laughs> just saying we can't kick this party Get off of giving a salute salute to our uncle Jay. That's you right. already know who the uncle is. <laughs> That's yes. right. Yes, look, so. So, <laughs> hey, look, so what I what I what I what I like doing is always coming up with different recipes and things. And I have a what I call the Uncle Nearest Berry Berry cocktail. Ooh. And it's and it's really simple, you know. Hey, I don't, I don't, I know you the mixologist and all <laughs> and everything. So you you know, I stick I stick to the food, but I do like whipping up a nice cool drink and all every now and then. So what I do for this berry berry cocktail, just take me some strawberries here, and I'm gonna slice the strawberries up nice and thin. I'm mm -hmm. gonna drop those in the bottom of our cocktail glass, and then we got some blueberries. Oh, yummy! That we're dropping in the bottom of that cocktail glass. And then just take you a nice little little muddling mallet or whatever, and I like just smashing them all up, just getting those berries. Because, you know, the berries has a, a nice infusion of sweetness in them. Just mm. smash them all up into the bottom of it. Yummy. Now, once you do that, mm -hmm. you know, we got a martini shake on hand. I always like having a good martini shaker, pouring any excess water from my <laughs> melted ice because I had ice already in it, you know. That's right. Look, you, you, look in, in, in this culinary world, you, you got to always be prepared ahead of time. Yeah, you got to prep. 1. prep. Prep time. 1.5 ounces of the Uncle Nearest in here. Yummy. That's 1856. Yes, All right, nice. Yes. Look, 100 proof. Then, then <laughs> you better believe. Then, look, <laughs> what we got here is strawberry soda, guys. Strawberry soda. Whoa. You, yes. Yeah. Yes. This I kind of remember seeing, seeing, seeing you pick that up, sir. That was awesome. I was like, the Fanta. All right. <laughs> exactly. See, look at you. You you calling out brand names. I just said strawberry. Oh, I'm soda. sorry. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> get, all, get all these daggone plugs out there. <laughs> just give it a just give it a nice cool shake. Just give it a nice cool shake. And then what we're gonna do is if we give it that nice cool shake, just pull it right over the top of it. And see, this is how we start our spring and summer off right here. Oh, so you yeah. shake it up with soda? I know, right? And did you see it didn't uh, like pop ooh. off? Hey, see, see, that's what you thought, but see, you shake it lightly when you got the soda because of the carbonation. So you there shake you it go. Light, so see, 
There you go. You shake it like you don't want to explode. Put the berries on the see, bottom, huh? Oh, that's yeah, easy. See, the key to the point. is, Jay, you, you got to do it with finesse. See how lightly <laughs> shake it? You got to just you gotta coordinate. It. You gotta, you coordinate. Gotta coordinate. Yeah. Exactly. Coordinate. coordinate. The right, earrings, right. they match the, the coat. Speaking, speaking <laughs> of coordination, <laughs> and, and since we plug it, so the lining sure matches the belt. This, look, Boomerang <laughs> is one of my favorite movies. Let me go ahead on. Yeah, you know, a cool drink. Martin. Hang, hang, hang around. Kick it <laughs> around. So, <laughs> real fast. It real fast since we clouded the coordinate and, and doing all that good stuff. Make sure, everybody, you can find these shirts and other shirts with Uncle Nears and everything on our website. On our website, we have shop. Just click on the shop key and you see shirts, hats, all that good stuff. So you can make the sure home. the dad, granddad, uncle, everybody mm-hmm. is outfitted and what you need for Uncle for, uh, for Father's Day. Which is coming up not this Sunday, but next Sunday, I think. Man, Pretty Father's sure. Day, Father's Day is every day. Maybe, yeah, you, maybe you know I got Sunday. look, you know I, I got know. nine kids, so they remind me what? every day that it's Father's Day. Woo. For real. Yeah, not only I'm not only am I the client, I'm the president. <laughs> <laughs> nine kids. Man, if I had a hat on, I'd take my hat off to you, sir. Good lord. <laughs> wow. Yes, yes. So what man, and your do? wife is still there working the camera too. Uh, then I'd be look, miles away from you if I was your wife. Look, <laughs> she's still holding it down. We're actually, man. The cool thing is, we're celebrating our twenty-first anniversary this month on the twenty-fifth of June. Yep, twenty-one years we got under our belt, man. So that, that is amazing. Stuff. Congratulations, yep. what, what is, y'all. Is it, is it is it twenty-one years or twenty-five years when you consider the antique? <laughs> yeah, twenty. I think it's twenty-two. But but speaking of that, my, my wife and I anniversary is today, yes. and we go fifteen years today. So I'll bring her out here for a little, little bit later. We're gonna do like a little champagne toast, you know. That's exactly. my sister wife. Cheers, you got to show cheers, me cheers and have a good right time, here, my brother. Yes, sir. Thank you. Ah, man. Here's to you yes, and my so. sister wife. I know. Amen. I know. Amen. Amen. What we're gonna do is this is this is real this is this is a really good grade of, of, of beef whenever especially if you create cooking for uh, a big family or anything like this. And normally what I do is I take a nice mallet and I pound it a couple of times just, just to ensure that it gets very gets real tender, pound it on both sides, got a nice little fat cap on it. Um and what Ooh. and what I like to do, a lot of people like trimming that fat cap off. But honestly, the fat has some nice flavoring, and okay. it also is a nice good coating um, for your steak. So what we do is you can just <laughs> the cameraman's doing just, good work. Good, I know, great. right? Yes, yes, yes. The camera keeps me look good. They say a chef is only as strong as his cameraman. <laughs> That's right. Uh-oh. <laughs> and his knife yeah. skills. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what we're doing is we just shave a little bit of that fat off, but we want to leave some on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a little cracked black pepper. Ooh, yeah. yummy. Yes, yes, pepper. yes. It's all about the flavor. It's all about a little, little sea salt here. And now all right. one of the good things here, guys, good. is Chef Gennard's Southern Barbecue Rub. Yep. Mm. Now, I know, right? You don't Look, say this right here is so good it'll make you want to slap your mama and your daddy at the same time. <laughs> Just in time for Father's Day. <laughs> I know, right? You Just mean you're gonna have your Father's mama slap Day. your daddy? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that this might right be better. It has all of the spices that you want. It has a nice, good, sweet and sweet and savory to it. It's nice smokiness. I created this one: smoked paprika, cracked black pepper, mm. oregano, cumin, a little garlic powder. All the things you need to create a nice, good barbecue experience. And it's great on burgers, chicken, ribs, yeah. seafood, you name it. And everything. You do the same, everything. You, you put that beef thing. on everything. <laughs> Chef, <laughs> where, where, how, since, since I don't have any in my home right now, wink, wink, how how do I get? Do I like, you know, do I beat down your door? What, you know, how can I get them spices, <laughs> players? Actually, you can get these spices. You go to Halt Cuisine dot store. H-A-U-T-E. Link just posted. Oh, she just posted Halt Cuisine dot store. You'll wow. find all of these, and if you order them, you'll have them just in time for Pappy's Day. Yes, yeah. right. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. 
<laughs> Pappy's Day, June T and the 4th of July. You see how I'm sweet? See how I like it. Look, if you order yeah. this season, this is how you're going to sprinkle it at the same time. Too. Okay. I'm going to so get that for my stepdad. A lot I'm going to get him a whiskey dad shirt and I'm going to get him your spices. I'm going to do a selection. Th there you go. Thank you so much. So, mm -hmm. see, now that we got this in right here, and one of the other cool things about doing whenever you're cooking steak, you always want to let your steak sit out for a while, get up to room temp before okay. cooking it, whether you're searing it on the grill or on a cast iron skillet. So we had already had it sitting out. We're going to go ahead on and we're going to lay this bad boy on our grill. We got our grill at a 350 temp. Hear that sizzle, guys? Yes. Mm. That's what you want right there. That's what you want. <laughs> That's the line. I like that. That's what you want. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna lay, we're gonna lay that that Italian parsley right over the top of it to help enhance okay. it. And then one of the other things I like doing, uh, because you can use your ingredients all the way around, I like taking just some fresh <clears> garlic, <throat> fresh garlic, and just laying it on there, and just let all those flavors just marinate, come to life. All right. Yeah, yeah. Now, me so, now man. Got, I'm about to break yeah, out the grill. Exactly. Now that we got that on, we're going we're gonna to close it down, let it get back up to temp on what we need, and we're mm. going to get ready to go into our next stage. And what we're going to do is right here, we're going to create, create everything that you need for your shrimp. And one of the things, when you get your shrimp, I always like peeling them, but leaving the tail on makes for a pretty presentation. And okay. then at the same time, it helps your shrimp keep that nice, good curl to it. Because a lot of times oh. whenever we use the shrimp, you know how when you, you're cooking it and, you, and it always ball up like popcorn shrimp. Yeah. If you leave a little <laughs> bit of that tail or skin on, it'll okay. help it keep its form. So I didn't know that. Do, oh. yeah. Damn, yeah, I see? never knew that. Message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Knowledge so, is power. <laughs> Every day. Exactly. So this is what we're doing right here. We're going to take we're going to take our garlic, Yum. going in the bottom of our bowl, going to take a little of our olive oil. Yeah, this and Greek this girl right loves here. olive oil. <laughs> oh, oh, olive oil and garlic are the perfect mm -hmm. combinations mm -hmm. all day, every day. Now, yes. this right here, this is uh -oh. Chef Gennard's all-purpose season. All-purpose. I got it for you. Low in sodium at that. So if, you, if, if you're worried about having that rolling weight and want to be healthy, this that's is what right. you need, right? <laughs> and that's right. Is, you just, we just Shout see, out to all the folks with shrimp. hypertension. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you get that same bang without all the craziness, let's, man. Let's be healthy. We got we got to save that's, ourselves there, Governor. You, you better believe it. You better believe it. So what you do is you're just mixing that together. We're going to fold in about two tablespoons of brown sugar. Okay. Fold in two tablespoons of brown sugar. Brown sugar. Then you already know we got the Creole hot sauce by yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so what you do is you're gonna add that in also. And, Sherry and Moore's with us. Hey, it's, Sherry Moore. What's good, Sherry? Thank you for checking in. This is something you can whip up whip up for anybody you have and if you want to take your parties to the next level this is where you need to be right here love it right. uncle nearest right. gang and myself we ain't gonna steal you wrong never ever and it's so and easy sherry, sherry moore yeah, knows how easy. to entertain she's been having people over her house on a regular basis so sherry get oh. ready to uh have some more barbecuing going on <laughs> <laughs> that's the inside joke sherry <laughs> mm, look and you always got your drink on deck to keep refreshing yourself with yeah. Oh, now, oh, the buggies. What we're going to do is you're going to take your foil. Because see, this right here is going into your foil. You know, normally when, you, when you're when grilling all shrimp or anything, you can lay them direct to it. But we're creating a nice, good, cool steam steam bag. So you're going to get the, the enhance of the smoke mm -hmm. and everything in it. But at the same time, it's going to keep all this steam and moisture in it. That's how I so always cook is, all of my fish on the grill. I always put it... Yep. In tin foil, I call it tin foil boats or pouches. Oh, wow. You 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 can't go wrong. See, sailor, 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 sailor it new to this. She true to this. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so what we do is, guys, we take that the shrimp, go right in there like that. Mm. We got our shrimp. We got our potatoes right here. And if you want, what you could mm. do is you can always you can. You can half your potatoes here. Okay. 
You can have those potatoes and just lay those in. And then also, you know, even if you're not doing the steak, you could do this dish and just have you just a nice little seafood. But, you know, I always think of just surf and turf is always the way to go. I I love this because I don't eat meat myself, Mm. um, but I do eat fish. So it, this is, would be a perfect thing for me to make for my guests. And then I, my husband and I can have the fish and I can serve the steak to my guests and it's kind of, it's happening all at once. So I don't feel like I'm cooking all these extra dishes. So this is a really great option for that. Mm. Yep. Everybody's happy. Nice, nice day. You go outside, throw it on a grill. Mm -hmm. And then also you could take the same recipe. And you can do it in the in your home at on the stove as well. And okay. the only thing, yeah, and, and, and the only difference would be is just missing that smoke experience. But what you could do is you can grab a small bottle of, of liquid smoke out of your local grocery store mm-hmm. okay. and and just put put a couple of dashes of it in and you'll get that same good feel. Now what we're gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna show you guys, see how our coins look. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're gonna lay those coins in there. And what I did was, is just take ears of corn and we just slice those ears of corn in half. And, and it's and this is one of those things that's cool for me, especially when whenever I'm serving it, serving it to the kids. These are little just bite nibblers, and, and it's okay. kind of it's just fun, you know. Instead Love of it. them having to just pound through a whole big ear corn right. or cob ear. That's this is what they got right here. This is what you got right here, guys. Beautiful. The kids love the hair like it's small, like it's fit in their hands. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it's kind of fun for them. So, in that way, you can exactly. eat a good Exactly. And, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm always trying to come up and create unique ways mm-hmm. where that the kids are, are having fun while they're eating. It's something that's cool to them. I also like, even though I add to all purpose, I like adding the barbecue season to the top of the corn. Mm, because yeah. as, it, as it's steaming and, and going, all of this is going to melt down. You can add, if you got any more drills of olive oil, you can add that to the top of it. And so now, nice and This white. right here. Yeah. Look at this steak, guys. Look at this steak here. Oh, beautiful. Is, Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. That's yes. beautiful. Yeah. It's coming right on in, coming right on in here. See how this thing looks. Yeah, it's, it's coming along good. I'm going to move to the front. And one of the things whenever you're grilling is about finding out where your hot spots is, like with this right. particular green egg. Mm-hmm. I've been cooking on it so long where I've managed to actually get it seasoned the way I want it, know where those hot spots is. And this right here brings it right on in. Hmm. And what we're going to do is, yeah, it's almost got that, that nice good caramelization. I'm going to on that other end, we ain't gonna flip it just yet. We're gonna let it, and then what we're gonna do is that sauce that we made. Yeah, all of that goes right. Oh my god, I'm oh, so hungry. Oh, oh, <laughs> top of it. Crap, you know amazing. I got on this show with you, man. Dang, I know I should have <laughs> eaten too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I should have eaten. I'm so hungry. <laughs> this oh, looks man, amazing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, chef. Yeah, so next time good. I see you, I need to see. I need to, you know, I need to catch that where you have like a little little dish, you know, a little Tupperware, you know, something. I got you. Doggy yeah. bag. I got you. A daddy bag. Right. Starving like yeah. Marvel. Well, cool, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. This, this drink is very good. You guys definitely got to try this one right here. I'm gonna make this one because shrimp is one of my favorites. Oh, and yes. I, I totally cool. see how you're like kind of likened it to a low country boil, but like a smoked because mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. almost looks like it. Yep. And what we're gonna do here is you see, I got me some got me some nice tomatoes here. Or is it like call them deep down in the south? Maters. Maters. <laughs> maters. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, mater. So what we're gonna do is I always like um you can use these with salads or anything like that. But I like just having some nice, good smoked tomatoes. So what you do mm-hmm. is just take your nice, sharp knife. Just put your nice, good cross in the center of the bottom of them. Okay. Yeah. Cross oh, okay. the bottom of them. Leave it mm. like that. I always like getting vine ripe tomatoes. We're right. in a vine. And then we're going to lay those on the grill. Oh, we're going to yeah. let okay. those tomatoes just smoke as well. Because, see, what happens is... While those tomatoes 
are smoking, once once you pull them off of the grill, you know, you can make a cool cucumber salad. Um, mm. Just 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 slice some cucumbers. You can add some mm. cheese my language, to it man. if you want. Exactly. No smoked tomatoes. Toss it in a little Italian dressing. Ooh. Oh man, yep. And, and and these are these are cool tips um, that you can use. Cause see, like me, if I'm craving like a late night snack, cause I'm up binge watching, so I'm on Netflix or something like that, and I want to mm -hmm. nibble on something, but I don't want to eat anything heavy. I have these smoked tomatoes already smoked, diced it up. Uh, just go in the kitchen, chop those up, toss them in a little vinaigrette dressing or some Italian dressing, and just munch on that. And then I don't feel as guilty afterwards. All right. I got to remember that because, you know, for me, yeah. I'm going to grab like some, some chips or some Oreos, you know. Exactly. <laughs> see, so see, the thing <laughs> is, see, the thing is, we, <laughs> we, we, we put on, we, we put on, you know, uh, the thing is, everything has calories in it. But right. You can determine what kind of calories you put in your body. You got, Good trans fats, and you got bad ones, you know. So, hey, I figured, you know, a couple of them Doritos going to hit us for, for 300 calories or so, Jay. We, we could nibble on some of this right here. We right here. On some of this I'd right rather here. eat we, that. And, and we still, yeah, we still, and we still be good. Right. Easy, easy, easy in right here. Why don't you put that on top of the Dorito? That oh, good? stop oh. it. You sound like my <laughs> see, husband. See. <laughs> you, you show it out there. Yeah, no, yeah. My decadence is popcorn. That's like my yep. that's my snack is mm. just like plain with coconut oil and I put a little garlic salt mm. on it. And my husband's with the cookies and the and ah oh, gotcha. <laughs> and as you can well, see here, I'm taking taking some of that parsley guys and we're just putting that because what you yeah. what you want to create is a nice good flavor bomb. And you know, and, and speaking of like if you're doing parties and things like that, Sailor, these mm -hmm. are these are dishes that you could do that will really help kick the party off, you know, and it'll go it'll go a long way. It'll go I a love long it. way. Yes, yes. Way. So <laughs> yeah, long way. People can eat off of them. You drop these in a nice shaping dish and let them rock and roll. Right there. We want this right mm. here on the on that grill, smoking. As we call it, low Ooh, and slow, guys. Low oh, and slow. Yum. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Give, give him a peek at that right there. That's that impressive. Tri -tip, yeah, that tri-tip come to life, guys. Come Look at that. Life. Ooh, it's like crust. Oh, yum. Yeah. And that's, and that's what you want. And, and another cool thing to add a nice good crust to it is you can rub it down with a little brown sugar. That mm. also helps bring it to life. But for me, guys... Y'all, you already know what this is right here. Mm -hmm. uh, this, Some old this is one of my signature lines right here, the Smoky yeah. Whiskey River. I launched this one about seven years ago, but I kid you not, when I got my first taste of Uncle Nears right here, I was mm -hmm. like, I had to stop using the whiskey that I use in it, and I had to bring these bad boys together. Because <laughs> ain't nothing like, look, ain't nothing like an African-American man-made sauce with the African American made whiskey. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that that we, we, we we need that right <laughs> now. <laughs> exactly. That nice Cheers to and, that. What, and what and, and as and, and as we go, what I like doing is it's just as I caramelize those sides, go ahead and just mm. glaze Ooh, the yeah. top of it. Glaze the glaze the top of it. And while we're glazing the top of it. You know, Jeff, I got a, I got a, I got a know, novice the, question. You know, I'm not the super duper barbecue guy, but if the the type of mm -hmm. steak that you're doing right there, what what do you think, in your opinion, would be the best temperature? And then if you're if you're grilling it, how do you pay attention and see if you're keeping the temperature where it should be? You know what I'm saying? So you don't you don't yeah. burn it and what, turn it what, into what, a what, hockey puck and all that type of stuff. Other than just you exactly. know exactly. Well, help me out personally. Me personally, I, I like cooking my steaks to a night. A nice good medium temp. Mm -hmm. So normally I'll I'll pull my I'll pull my steak at roughly about 135, 145. Okay. Um, I've just learned over the course of the years it's it's time it's time time against temperature. Meaning that I know if I keep my grill at a nice good three three fifty temp, okay, within thirty minutes, within thirty minutes I should have anywhere between a one thirty five to 145 temp on my steak where I got a nice steak. good medium. Uh, okay. Yeah, and, and sometimes it, it, it can balance between a a medium 
leaning close to a, a, a medium well, but not as much as the medium well, because right. the thing is, you know, anytime when you pull a steak, you always, whether you're cooking it on a grill uh, or on your stove, you always want to let that steak rest. So okay. not, while the steak is going through that resting phase for the first five minutes, it's still it's still cooking during it's that still time. Cooking, right, yeah. So normally, yeah. So even if people are like, eh, well, I, I don't want to do a do a a, 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 a medium uh -oh. rare, where that five minutes is gonna bring it to a nice meal. Uh oh. Sorry about that, y'all. Got right, what we got going on right there? Yeah, we got we got hit with the curfew. Uh -oh. Nine o'clock. Everybody oh, get yeah, your butt you in the better, house. You better, look, you better run. Hey, you better run. I heard it's a two hundred dollar fine. <laughs> I heard it's a two hundred dollar fine. You get caught out doing this curfew. Mm -hmm. That's right. If you're looking for me, you can always find me on the deck cooking it up during these times. Hey. We here. <laughs> Sailor. Hey, but now that I think about it, so, Sailor, um, where are you? You in California or you on the East Coast? I'm Washington State, all the way up in the PNW. Oh, okay. So you're you're actually um you're on Pacific time as well, then, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So what is it about five o'clock there for you? About five twenty-six. Five thirty. My stomach yeah. is grumbling. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, right? I know, yeah. Right. So look, right. you, 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 look, you more than you more than welcome to come on over for dinner. <laughs> Catch that so quick mean. flight. Yeah. Catch that quick flight. <laughs> I'm coming. Exactly. Don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> come on, you know come you got a spot here. Yeah. Any, any, anytime you come to Atlanta, girl, you know we got you covered. You and Robin, come hang out. Any, any, anytime, got a, got a nice spot here going on for you. But, it's but just one of the things way. is, you know, guys, while, while we're waiting on that, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a flip that step one more time in about three minutes. You know, I, I just want to take just the time just to talk about, you know, what you guys are doing, you know, because I think that the movement that you all are making with, with Uncle Nears, the brand, and just the statement and the message you guys are sending, I think it is truly so amazing. You know, even when it came, when when it was down to the pandemic, you know, I'm sitting here watching. I'm seeing you guys send out masks to people, started creating hand sanitizer, things like that. Really, just step going above and beyond, and I think that's what it's about. You know, really, you know, we're we're business people. You. you know, um, first of all, but at the same time. We're also loving people. And I think Amen. it's amazing when you can deal with companies that will allow their heart to lead and not just their mind and their judgment. Because as I always like to say it, companies have personalities too. A lot of people say, what do you mean, Jannar, when you say companies have personalities? Well, what I mean is everything starts from the head down, just like the body. The body, mm -hmm. the head controls everything. So when your CEOs, when your founders, when your presidents, the way they are, the way they think, typically the whole company moves in that direction. And when oh. you see a company doing amazing things like what you guys are doing, that tells me that the head's in the right place because the rest of the body follows and you guys are really, you, you guys are kicking butt, guys. All Man, right. I, I have to salute y'all. Go ahead, yes, on that, sir. Thank hey, you for that, hey, Sean Sean and Keith. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Right on time, sir. Look, look, look. yes, we I, have look, fearless leaders for sure. Yeah, and we're definitely yes, more than whiskey. Called, Hashtag more we are than more than whiskey. whiskey for That's sure. beautiful. Yes, That's, I mean, I'm yes, very yes. proud fun, to be working and doing what we're doing. Fun I appreciate that. So amazing, you know. She she really is. Fun is an amazing person. Yes. You know, I had the opportunity. Me and my wife when we took the tour, we spent time with her, Victoria. And they gave us a tour. And the thing is, they really made us feel like family. You mm -hmm. know, and, and, and that's it's what it's family, about. Baby. That's what it's about. You know, yes, that's what it's about. Let's look at this right here, guys. This is what we're talking about. And as you can see, I don't know if you, you paid attention from the jump, but when at the 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 tried tip was a, was a spread it out a lot longer. Mm -hmm. So as it's cooking, you will see that the right. muscles and ligaments in the tri tip is starting to to thicken up and actually get a little tight, and that's why it seems like it's drawing up. And that's when you know that it's cooking and it's, it's getting like we want it right here, guys. When it's getting shortened, like it, got it. it. <laughs> yes, yes, that is beautiful. Wow. Yeah, yep. add a little bit mm. of more of that smoky whiskey river to it. I'm gonna pass this out. Add a nice, good, right. 
Right. I don't even eat meat, Look. and I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, I've slowed down considerably, and, 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 but you, you, know, you, want, it, you got me going to steak right now. <laughs> and, 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 and let's let's talk about that. Let's talk about that because one of the things is, and I'm sharing this with you today. I also specialize in vegan and vegetarian cuisines. A lot of hmm. my books, those are things that that I've highlighted in my books because I have I, over the course of my time, I've I've read I've read roughly about seven seven cookbooks and those cookbooks okay. you know from Ooh. AA ways to a hard cooking for lovers to um southern modified um also the weight of expectations and and one of the things what I always do is I, I never leave out my vegan and vegetarian eaters because I actually I practice I practice veganism for about 12 months during my uh Doing my lifetime, friend. Amazing, you know. It you you really just feel amazing with it. Um, and as I was telling you, I think sometimes it's just a texture issue. Why we 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 crave like different meats, and we it's just the texture. So it's how can I create vegetarian? Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Chef, you okay? Chef, you there? <laughs> Hopefully he, he, hopefully he did not get struck by lightning because it's, uh, it's getting kind of cloudy right here. I think here. the storm is coming. <laughs> so the one that we can see him on is not paused, but the one we can hear him right, on is paused. There he is. All right, we're on one. All right, what about now? I yes, see you, on, you on, one, on one camera. We got you clear. Um, you'll have to lie. All right, we, we're going to look. We're, we're going to figure this out. If some, something, some lightning, some lightning. Pumped it. I don't know. What, oh what no! Figure this out. Give me. Two the, how does the song go? Thunder and, and lightning. The way you hit me is frightening. Right. You got me right here. Now you see. That's why I had that backup, guys. Mm -hmm, had, mm -hmm. That's why I, I had that backup. Trying to go to turn on the TV. There we go. <laughs> that's why I got that back. Y'all still got me right here. Don't. Don't worry, the, the food is the food is cooking low and slow. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Yeah, we got you coming. All right, good. The food is still going low and slow. Every time I'm giving the message, they'll never want me to get the message out. But <laughs> we gonna get the message. <laughs> look, I don't know what it is. Last, last, Keep pushing last, last, time, look, last time it was the microphone. Now, yeah. now I'm preparing for it. <laughs> now, now I'm preparing for it. And and and, 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 and some else won't happen. This right, here. you know, was a, a good oh, friend of mine, uh, my man Norm. I was with Norm, Norm Johnson. Peace up to you and peace out to you, homie. Out there, I know you out there somewhere, Norm. But Norm told me that a good friend of his told him, no matter what you do, always make sure you got a backup. So I like the fact that you got two backups. So as soon as one camera went down, you back up and running with the other one. So we we never lost you. You still here? And and I heard your message, man. I felt you, brother. <laughs> I felt you. Thank yeah. you so much. I appreciate that, Chef. We, we got to deal with these technical difficulties and keep on pushing. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we trying. We trying to get that. We trying to get that other. Uh, the other line is it back up now? All right, let me see right here. See what happened. Nonetheless, guys, I don't know about y'all, but this grill is smelling amazing. Oh, I wish I could smell it. Yes. I don't know what 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 was that saying? Can you smell what the what the rock is cooking? Let me see that one real quick, camera. <laughs> we can figure this thing out. As they say, hey, I I've been I've been rolling with this for for, for too long. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's see. All right. All right, you now, what, uh, so let, let's get ready to cause have we talked about what's gonna be uh, on the next show? Just to just to get the you know the the, the taste buds salivating for the next show. Have we have we thought about that, Chef? Just just yeah, I think the next show we need to do some we need to do some hot wings. We need to do some mm. Uncle Nearest hot wings. Mm. Create a, a whiskey chipotle hot wing. That's that's what we doing. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I like I, it. I'll be ready for that one. I think I might I might have to go ahead and, and get a get a grill back here uh, all hot and toasty. You know and, what? Uh, I will and, and be able to I do will some grill. I'm gonna look like a fool though. <laughs> I will do it with you that night, chef, and I will get my vegetarian, um, my veggie meat, mm. and I'll do it with you. I, my girl. And, and and look, I and then after we, after we kick out that after we kick out that wing experience, 
Then I think we need to go ahead on and do a vegetarian experience. All right. Yeah. I completely right. agree. I'm with you. I'm with you. My right. wife will love that. She's she's like she's like you, uh, sailors, so where where you and uh, you and Robin, she's on the fish. So I'm, I'm trying to back out slowly but surely on the beef and the pork. Um, no command. But uh, you know, so I didn't ask, and I don't. Work, I, don't on the love of pork belly. I don't ask people to. I just say, and I will make cook it for them. For okay. me about it being responsible meat, like being raised in in a humane way and all of that. So, and yeah. clean, no antibiotics, any of that stuff. And that they're just treated humanely. And so I'm happy to cook it for friends. Um, I would clean. never push my agenda on someone else, but I was raised like this, so it's different. Oh, really? Okay, all right. Of course, yeah, I mean, it helps being Greek, huh? <laughs> no, they eat, they, they eat lamb. <laughs> well, yeah, but you know, which was traumatizing. <laughs> yeah, having having a lot of having a lot of uh, vegetables and and fruits and fish, and fish, fish yeah, ve sure. vegetables, fruits, and fish. The med typical Mediterranean diet. Oh yes. no, <laughs> you, oh, guys, no. <laughs> you guys are getting screwed right now, you, aren't you? Can you see the sprinkles? I can see your the both oh. of you. Your your screens are getting darker. <laughs> I'm like, oh crap! It was we're almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> Hold on, please. Just a little sprinkle. It'll be okay. Meanwhile, we, we're uh, we're lighting up the torches out here too. We gotta light the tiki torches to keep the bugs away. I forgot to yeah. do that before I came outside because I was in such a rush. <laughs> so if, you All might you might see me go on the mute and just tiptoe inside the house. We, you never know. But I was waiting on on making these little quick cocktails. So that might be what I do. In the meantime, yeah, why don't you do that? Yeah, I was gonna set up like a little small quick cocktail. Um, I need some champagne. Well, Let's it's your anniversary. Champagne. Yes, it is yeah. your anniversary today. It is June fourth, so so long ago, two thousand five. My wife and I got married down in Cancun, and so uh, this is Cancun. the fifteen year anniversary. And uh, yes, as soon as she gets back out here, we're gonna pop some champagne and make a nice little quick easy cocktail. You know, just uh, I got a little bit of peach puree. Um, eighteen eighty four. And champagne, it's delicious, and and good enough for us folks down here in ATL because we all like Georgia peaches. Ain't that right, Chef? Uh oh, you already know. It. No, I'm. <laughs> there you go. So unmute the other one, Chef. There you go. Wait a minute. Unmute. Yeah. Uh, I think you need to flip there which one. Go. Flip the other one. Mute the other one and unmute the other one. All right, one of you. Can you hear me? There you go. All right, we good. Uh, yeah, I think so. All right, what about now? Magically. Hello. All right, cool. Voila, magic. <laughs> Look at this. That's beautiful. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. Uh, Let me get this baby open. First and foremost. Oh, Perfect. Good Chef, nice I think we need to switch. See. I think we need to switch which um, camera has your sound. It has to be the other one. All right, turn that one. Yeah. All right. Hopefully, I don't, I don't blow my eyeballs right, out. Right. We good. There you go. Yes. All right. Cool bean. Yeah. That night's fat cap is rendering very good on there. Mm -mm. Tomatoes. <laughs> well, we got nails it in the back. What's going well, on, Taylor? Smoking. There we go. There we go. I'm like saying everything is going down here. What the heck is going on? All right, here we go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's See, a celebration. We give you the best. You, we, we give you the best. We give you the best of both worlds. See, you yeah. got the grill action going on one side, and you got me on the other. Why? Why Jay making the drink? So you got the champagne. I see. Right, right. Yeah, I got a little bit. I uh, got a little bit uh, hyper and just started pouring champagne. Let's put a little peach puree in there. So you're doing like a Bellini, Jay? Kind of like a play yeah. on a Bellini? Okay. Precisely. Okay. I don't know how much it's going to be, but I'm thinking like maybe an ounce. I don't know. <laughs> That's <laughs> about enough an to, ounce. Enough, enough to feel the burn, just ever so slightly. That's a little over <clears throat> an ounce. Okay. Yeah. So we'll be okay. And you had Let's like, go. what, an ounce and a half of puree? Yeah, I think so. Okay. We'll go okay. put it. A lot of times I have to measure how it looks good in the glass. Boom. That's what it was before. <clears throat> and uh, let's get a little something. Okay. Good enough. All right. And then last is go. 
with the Sam Pipple. It's a rosé too, by the way. We oh. uh, we got this from um, from the ladies at Royal Petals. They're the ones who are going to be working on. Uh, we talked about that. They're going to they're, they're going to be working on some lovely baskets for Father's Day, which of course are going to be flowers, but also to include bottles of uh, Uncle Nearest in there or a bottle of Uncle Nearest in there. So love it. I was uh, hanging out with them, and they got some flowers for us for our anniversary, and gave me a bottle of champagne. I said, "Well, thank you." Lady. Yeah. Peace yeah. out to, uh, to Tanika and Rosman. Thank you so much. So there you go. This easy, nice little cocktail. I don't know what we could call it. You, you're probably more creative than that uh, on that than I am, Sailor. But you know, so it's a rose, peach, champagne, and, and a rose. Hmm. Yeah. So, something Bellini ish. We should know. call it the Rosa Parks. Okay. <laughs> okay. There it is. Look at you. Come on, white chocolate. Get some. See? That's <laughs> how I got my name. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So we'll Good we'll deal. post the actual recipe um after the show. We'll have Jay measure it out and and we'll post it because Sherry's asking for it. See, and I know uh, Rails wants it. Yeah. As you yeah. can see, I just pour that bad boy and we let it Look at that steak. <sighs> yes. Yum. Time. Look at that. Yes. It was meant to be. Look at that. Oh, that so Everything always works out. It always works out. And we just let this bad boy just rest for about about five minutes. Because you know, a lot of people think that when you pull a when you first pull a steak, oh man, you gotta cut it while it's hot. No, what you want to do is you want to let it rest so all the juice, all the flavor, those ligaments then can loosen up. And that's how you have a nice, good, tender steak. Right there. Okay. I was going to ask you to explain that because yes. you're right. A lot of people don't get that, but I don't think they understand why you're supposed to let it rest. So that's really important. It'll be yep. more tender and juicy, right? It, yes, it will. Be. And I, it's always good to hit it with just a little bit of cracked, cracked salt and pepper when you first pull it from your grill or your skillet. Oh, my God. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> so look look what your sister brought out so she the the kids had a project we had these so there we go the rosa oh Park. yeah <laughs> see like that hold on see <laughs> oh you gotta be the wrong side boom well, there we go well you can see it pretty good yes you can yes oh, Hell yeah. that is the beautiful. rosa part thank you baby i appreciate that yes and oh yeah there we go you already know it, Jay. <laughs> lovely. lovely. I, I love that. What a Jay, look like we need it. Look at all this love. It's all this know, love right? coming together. You got good drink, of course, good food, and good fellowship. What what else you need? Man, we can solve all the all the bad stuff in the world right now. Like let's get look. let's sit down and figure all this crap out. Jeez. Woo. Exactly. Look. Oh, and, and the kids, let's change the narrative, man. That's what it's about. It's about changing Heck the yeah. narrative. Absolutely. Absolutely. Man, this thing is looking so good. I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to taste it, Jay. That's beautiful. Yes, That's delicious. yes. And, and, and those shrimp, one of the things I'm going to slide this up, make a little room here. Those uh, those shrimp, yeah. you know, they cook, they cook pretty fast. Well, and fast. then one yeah. of the other things by cutting it corn, in half, it allows the corn to continue to, to cook a lot faster as well. So okay. what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull me some of that up off of my grill. Yeah. So you about to put it all together and make a, make a presentation? That, is that what you about to do, Chef? You you already know it. <laughs> I'm, I'm preaching to the choir. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Right on. <laughs> it's going to be good. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, yes. Chef, yes. I've lived in the South, and I've lived in, and I'm from New England, and so in New England, we call it a lobster pot or a clam bake, and okay. in the South, it's the low country boil. Big similarities to it, but what I learned, uh, I was doing an eighth grade book report or something. <laughs> of course, the lobster pot came from the low country boil, and so it yep. came from the slaves that had left the South and fled to the North. And yep. so they had brought that, yeah. and it was an it was efficiency 
put all the food together and, you know, making it very efficient, large quantities to feed, you know, an entire plantation at the time. And so it's something that's very embedded in New England culture that comes from the South and comes from African Americans. And it's, I love it. It's my favorite. Wow. There you go. History lesson too. We, we, we're getting a whole lot in this show. I, <laughs> folks, I don't, I don't know about you, but I mean, good gracious. This, this is entertainment, dadgummit. This is entertainment, this is education, this is edutainment. There it is, edutainment. Entertainment at its best. That's right. Right here. Oh, we got some fun. Oh. We got me a plate I'm going to bring to the forefront in a minute. In a minute. That tomato. So, hey, chef, question about the tomato. So I make mm -hmm. this, I make this, um, I have a special Bloody Mary that I make with whiskey, Uncle Nearest mm -hmm. whiskey, and I use fresh Roma tomatoes. I do not use the fake tomato shit, right? <laughs> Yeah. Oops, I cursed. Sorry, Fawn. Um, so the sm <laughs> the smoked tomato would be incredible in that, right? Yeah. Yep. Mm. Oh, it would be amazing. Mm, I'm doing that. All right, I'm gonna pull. pull I'm with it. I'm with it. You know, once in a while, a curse word may slip out when you got whiskey around. It just happens, you know. Well, I'm yeah. starving. Okay. I'm watching this heavy okay. food. I'm drinking. Right. Oops. Right. No. All that going this, down. I'll put that right there. That's how we'll take care of that. There we go. There we go. Boom. Yeah. There's Sherry Moore. Yeah. We, do we have any, uh, any other questions or comments on here? People ask, asking uh, ask some good questions from from any of Jay, us. Why like don't, Jay, why don't why don't you read that comment from Sherry so so Chef can? Oh chef can Lord. Read. Yeah, I need to put on my glasses. Uh, Chef. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll read it. You know I'm blind as a bat. Oh my so, god. Sherry <laughs> says, Chef adds so much love and joy to his fabulous skills and experience. The oh, love oh. carries it to another level. Was yes. repeat that one more time. Say exactly that. Yep, sure. <laughs> Chef adds so much love and joy to his fabulous skills and expertise. The love carries it to another level. And you know what? I heard it the first time. I just want to hear it one more time. Thank <laughs> you. <so much. laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good and, our, job. and our whiskey sister Chastity is with us, and she says, "Tell Chef that Chastity says hello, and she enjoyed meeting you from Chicago." What's up, Chastity? Yeah, that's my shot town friend. I was in Chicago. Uh -oh. uh, I was doing an event called Chicago Gourmet Millennial Park, and actually, I featured you guys on a show that's called uh, Windy City Live, and I you I created a dish using Uncle Nears. All I right, now we'll yeah. go ahead and bring it in, guys. Send the check. Yes. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. What's up, Sam? Look at this, y'all. Oh, now, this wow. Is, this is what we want right here. So this tender. is what you want. Right oh, here. shout out. Yeah, I, I see you, Norm. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. And happy anniversary. Shout out. Yes, yes. My life is on. Right there. This is what you, you want right here. You know what, Seth? You know what? You, we totally messed up. You know what should have happened? I should have invited you over to crib, and you could have done all that here in the backyard. Uh, hey, Jay. Hey, uh, Jay. You, you know, you know a funny you... story, Jay. Yeah. When, when I came in yesterday with the grocery, my <laughs> wife was like, "So what time, Jay and his wife coming over?" I was like, "Baby, they're not coming over. We're doing this on the live again." <laughs> Jay, oh how many God. times have I told you? I what told you. I Come you. on now. Oh, okay. You need right. you need to check with me from now on beforehand. We got to figure this stuff out. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Because my sister wife deserves the her. best. Because she's a right. queen. That's she's right. a queen. Take care of me right now and always for sure. With just a bit of that smoky whiskey river. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, yes, yes. Look at how beautiful. Look at how nice, you took nice, something yeah. so rustic and it, it's and yeah. plated it in such an elevated, oh, elegant way. I love that. <laughs> Look, the, the key is, you know, with, with being the chef, the biggest thing is, as I call, you know, chefs are artists. That's why it's called culinary art. That's and true. I would go paint a picture with your plate, you oh. know, and get you that feel of what it's like with us. And look at this potato right here. Mm. Yum. <laughs> This is what you want. This is what you want right here. You already know it. Oh, I love it. And and Sherry is right. 
The, you you know when there's love in food, and you know oh, I don't know. Yeah. Like, do you remember the movie Like Water for Chocolate? There, when yeah. when she would when she was crying into the cake, and then everyone mm. at the wedding cried into the cake. And I, it's true. There there is there is emotion that goes into food, and your personality and your energy oh, goes yeah. into that food. And you can see, Chef Gernard, Like I told everybody today, you know, we all need a break. We need a moment. We need. I know I needed it. I yes, needed to yes. laugh and smile. I needed sure. I, I needed this so badly. And you are the perfect person to do this for us. And I'm so appreciative. Thank See? you. I'm truly honored, guys. It's See? always. And that and that what we're talking about, Chef. See, and that's the reason why it's called soul food. You put your soul in the food. Yes. You exactly. know what I'm saying? <laughs> right up the spirit. Oh, <laughs> Hallelujah. Soul food. Yes. Yes. It's so hey, look, true. It Exactly. So then me and Mike come from another mother because we both want rocking those afros. <laughs> you want to talk you know about afros? Hang on. Are you ready <laughs> right, for this? Right. This is coming you know, this to you no, live. This ain't nothing but an ultra purr, chef. This ain't nothing but an ultra purr. <laughs> look, dog, dog, look at Sailor. Dang. Woo! The Greek fro. I so yeah. I talk, I've talked about it. You've never seen it. There you go. Let it down, let it down. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, I'm gonna have to put out something for the haircut. We we both walking around crazy, man. Hair is out of here. Us called quarantine. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. But seriously, no doubt. I, this was this was this was very needed. This was um, it's medicine, you know. And I know that that's yeah. how chefs feel. My father was a chef, and he's he's in heaven, and um. He That's taught me love. service and it, it is, it's, it's a gift. It's an act of love. It's, they talk about love languages and, and service is a love language. And I think all of us share that. And um, I'm so appreciative yeah. that you are part of our whiskey family chef. And I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. Look, I wouldn't have it any other way. This is extra. This is an extra, that, an extra special. I'm so glad that we, we put this whole thing together, um, especially during this time. Like we're saying, this is a this is a good message of peace and love, and having just a good time. I mean, we yes. can we can we can truly figure it all out over some some good drink, good food, and uh, good fellowship, man. Um, One of the best yeah. ways to for me to resist and revolt is to share the love of the black community to mm. amplify the beauty and the love. And I think that's what we did. To, well, I know that's what we did tonight. Oh yeah. And isn't it the, isn't it such a beautiful way to resist with love and fight with love? It is. It is. And the saying is true. Love does conquer all, yes. you know, love that conquers all. True. It that always true. has and it always will. And that's why, I go by the name of the Chef of Love. You know, I, I created that moniker over 20 years ago, and I started writing love cookbooks. My actual, my first cookbook was 88 Ways to a Heart, Cooking for Lovers. And it was because I understood and I learned it from my father that food and love tr truly goes hand in hand. I don't mm. care who you are, uh, what color you are, nationality, creed, or anything. Food is always the cornerstone of everything, regardless of how you feel about a person. I guarantee you, you'll find them all in a restaurant eating together. Mm. Because mm. it's truly the ultimate mm. uniform. It's perfect. That's true. That's true. Coming to coming together at the community table and, and, and getting it done. Uh, I I really appreciate you, Chef. I mean, I had a good time right now, and and uh, this this helped out a, a whole bunch, man. It really did. It really did. And I hope we touch some folks out here too, man. In regards to helping them out with cooking, drinking, and uh, as well as just uh, in regards of uh, healing. We got yes. we got some work to do. So, but uh, but we're this still, is, a, is a rejuvenating. We're still working, right? right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We're still working. Definitely we're are. still fighting. And one of the ways that you can fight and you can help is by uh, spending intentionally. And Amen. you can spend intentionally with Chef Gernard, and I'm going to post his links again. And you can spend intentionally with Uncle Nearest. You can. Um, that's really how you make a change: is use your dollars to support Black business. Yes, Amen. yes. Yeah. Please, by all means, I always tell everybody, please follow me on social media, Instagram at Chef Gennard, C-H-E-F-J-E-R-N-A-R-D. Please definitely follow me on, on Instagram and my Facebook is the same. 
I create cool I create cool videos like this pretty much every day. Yeah. Uh, also, you nice. can catch my show on Clio TV, which is a subsidiary of TV One. Um, it's a it's a chef for millennial. It's a it's a network for millennial women. My show is called New Soul Kitchen. Airs daily. Please just just go in and check me out. The ratings always help. Uh, if you got Xfinity, Comcast, Channel 175 is on Spectrum, Fios, all of those. And then, of course, my Food Network and Cooking Channel family, I co-host the show with, alongside Martha Stewart, Wolfgang Puck, quite a few uh, esteemed other chefs by the name of Best Things I Ever Ate. And that show comes on every Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Right Eastern time. Oh, Definitely right. just show love because the thing is the chef that you see here is the chef that you get across the board. I'm a you know I'm a right. family man, I'm a businessman. Um, but most importantly, I love people and I love everybody, and I think that's what that's really what goes a long way at the end of the day. Amen. Right on, bro. Right on. Thanks, man. Needed that. Needed that. Seriously, I'm gonna say cheers that. to my wife, even though she's she's not coming outside. I'm gonna say cheers to my wife. But well, I just want to yeah. see the glass, baby. If you just we don't have to show your face. She's like, I don't that feel like getting on part. camera. I know, right. I know this is they typically want to be did up. See, right, Sailor, right. She's like, like, don't this. put me on the camera. I'm like, like, okay, just, just put your hand. Camera. Just put your hand in the camera. It's probably just back there. Here she goes. Come on, just give me your hand, darling. Real fast. Please, today. We gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> Thank you. See? All right, thank you. <laughs> There we go. Cheers to you. both of you. Happy anniversary. Yeah. Gotta put the pinky out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She poked her head in. Hallelujah. Uh, well, thank y'all, everybody, for tuning in. Again, it's beautiful content. The uh, We're on Pound the Rock on YouTube channel, too. So if you mm -hmm. missed or, or if you're telling somebody about it, just go on our YouTube channel, Pound the Rock, and you can look at all our podcast and stuff like that and see the last show we did with Chef Jannar and look forward to future shows. We'll be here and we'll be doing a whole lot of good stuff on Thursday. That's for darn sure. Yes, we will. And uh, I want to say a big, a big shout out to my girl Pia right there with chocolate tenders, chocolate bartenders. I want to give a give a shout out to her. So from uh, from this chocolate bartender and my white chocolate bartender, we want to say peace out to you. And thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for taking the time to, to heal, have a good time and, and party on with us. Thank and now I'm going to hang out in the backyard and relax with my wife and celebrate 15 years. Yes. Hallelujah. Celebration. Tonight we celebrate your anniversaries. Right. And Chef, we celebrate you. And we celebrate beautiful blackness because black lives matter. And Uncle Nearest Amen. is black legendary. Black lives matter and black love matters. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank y'all. Good night, night, everybody. Catch you next time, y'all. Make sure you go get the sauce. <laughs> yes. <laughs> get into it. And a shirt.